first thing I'm going to ask is, regarding these these objects we've been seeing, uh, one of them was identified, as you know, as a balloon. The re rest, they haven't really identified them just as flying objects, generally. But why do these flying objects, other than, you know, satellites, uh, why, why does it seem like a recent thing? Well, first of all, we should be alarmed because we, we shot down four objects in eight days. Obviously, that is very unusual. And we look forward to hearing from the president uh, and his team more about what these are. And there's no doubt that the first balloon was a uh, reconnaissance balloon from China. The other three objects, I'm pretty sure they were also balloons, a different kind of payload. And we're not sure yet where they originated from, but likely China as well, I would, I would gather, but could be from other countries. Now, why are we seeing more of them? It is of my belief that we've always had balloons flying over our territory. We've had we our radars uh, that are for Nor that are used by NORAD use filters and um, and they filtered out low speed objects. Uh, they were programmed to identify aircraft flying at 300 miles per hour or faster, so 600 or 700 miles per hour. And so they filtered out these slow moving objects because they didn't think they were threats and they really weren't looking at 60,000 feet, because most aircraft fly uh, significantly below that. So now that they know that these balloons are up there, they've reprogrammed their radars to detect these balloons. Now we're seeing more of them. And I think what it has done is identified a problem that other countries are flying saddle or uh, balloons with reconnaissance packages on them over our country. And, and uh, we needed to protect our sovereignty, and uh, the administration starting to do that. Okay, thank you. Um... Does that make sense? Yes. Does that check it? Okay. It, it does, but at, at the same time, there was a story that came out last week that Pentagon officials acknowledged that, you know, the balloons thing really isn't new, that it, it happened even under the Trump administration. So that, 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 that makes it sound like that it's something that they had detected years ago. Well, that was misleading, and I, I know the facts on this. These balloons did fly years ago, but nobody knew about it, and they had to use intelligence processes to go back and uncover when these balloons were flown. So nobody at the time knew these balloons were overflying or Guam or Hawaii or Southern Florida. Those are the incidences they found out about. And, but they didn't, but they just didn't know about it until a year or two years later. And so that's, that's the facts there. That, I think the main point here is we have balloon objects overflying our country more than we knew. And our radars were not programmed to detect these low, these slow-moving objects flying at high altitudes, and so it just it it took NORAD readjusting the filters on these on these ra our radars to detect them. Now, now we're starting to see them. Okay, thank you. And then, <clears throat> like you said, uh, when they say recently discovered, and you know you you have the military background, you have the experience working with uh, d radar and detection and that kind of thing. But when they say that, you know they 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 only recently discovered them i mean isn't that too late to say after the fact when they say well yeah i mean it's been going on for a while that for, for years but i mean how do you only recently discover something that you apparently already had data on for years well they didn't they didn't have uh, i think maybe they've had data on it for like the last two years going back like four or five years but they didn't know about these balloons flying four or five years ago but as they peeled back the data they have intelligence data that gave them access to databases in China, as far as much as we could go into that. And they said, oh, they've been flying these before. And so it is a, our view that China, and maybe perhaps other countries as well, are using these balloons more often now. We didn't really know about it until like two years ago. And now we're starting to see these being used more often. And so now we've had to readjust the capabilities on our radars so that they are programmed to look at balloons before, prior to prior to the last couple of weeks our radars were not even programmed to detect the balloon so they had the capability uh, that they, they were filtered out and so the, the analysts could never see them now as we go back we can detect them okay and now the first suspected uh, well I shouldn't say suspected anymore should I uh, the, the Chinese spy balloon you know they waited waited until it crossed the continent before shooting it down in the Atlantic Ocean Comment on that as well as just the administration's general handing of these flying objects. Well, I think it was a mistake to wait till it flew over our whole country to shoot it down as it was leaving our country. 
Uh, we detected that balloon before it entered Alaska, and then we monitored as it went through Alaska and Canada, down to Idaho and Montana. And I think we had opportunities to shoot down in. And the, the administration says, well, we wanted to collect on the balloon. Yet, in the meantime, the balloon was collecting on us, sending back real-time intelligence data through their satellites back to China. And I just think it was more important to make a clear statement that we defend our sovereignty and, and to shoot it down as more of a statement uh, on how important our sovereignty is. That, now, now I'll give the administration credit. They have now changed their position. And the last three times, uh, as soon as they've detected the balloon, they've, they've been able to shoot them down rather quickly. And I think that's the right way to go. So I think the administration made a mistake on that first one. They've learned from it. And now they're more proactively going after these uh, uh, flying objects. Okay, thank you. Now, imagine if you were president right now, how would uh, President Bacon be handling this situation? And how, how would you be differing from it? Aside from, you know, obviously that, that first, uh, that, that balloon. The first balloon, I would have shot it down over Alaska. No doubt about that. But two, I think we go back to China and you say, we know what you're doing. This, these are not weather balloons. We see through your lies. And we should be doing sanctions on China and make them pay for what they're doing. But also, we need a comprehensive policy regarding China. Uh, right now, they're flying these these balloons over our country. That's just one of a half dozen things that are issues. They're conducting genocide against the Uyghurs. Uh, they're threatening Taiwan and their neighbors. So there's a national security uh, element here. They're, we have a very unfair trade balance that they're not seeking to help rectify. They're stealing our technology through uh, cyber theft and other other forms. And they're also putting in billions of dollars to our country to buy access and influence. We need a policy from the White House that looks at China at, with all of these factors, a holistic, full strategy. Right now, we don't have one. And then you mentioned the uneven trade. I'm, I'm always curious about this because the previous administration, they, they started laying tariffs on Chinese goods. Uh -huh. Are you for or against those tariffs? I was for them at the time to help force or compel China to open up their trade. And, but it did, it did impact our farmers. Don't, there's, a, there's not an easy way to go about this. But China has a four or five to one trade advantage with us. And they limit a lot of our products to coming in and put in false barriers that are, that are not needed. And at the same time, stealing our technology while they're doing it. And so we have to deal with that. We can't ignore it. And we should have insisted on them opening up more trade opportunities for us to include our agriculture. And, but I would say this about President Trump. He focused on the trade deficit. That was good. But he, we needed to have also him look at these other half dozen aspects of china and i would also point out that president biden has not looked at any of them that well thank you for that and then you said you're you were you were in favor of the tariffs at first are you still in favor of them i sure am until china opens up their doors for us now we did get a temporary trade deal with china that allowed us to suspend these tariffs but the promise was that there would be follow-on trade agreements and that China would live up to its trade initial agreement. This, this administration does not talk about trade at all when it comes to China. And I, I feel like they, they treat the Midwest like flyover country. And one evidence of that is the lack of emphasis on trade. All right. Thank you. This is the last question I can think of right uh -huh. now. Uh, and this one, you know, if you feel compelled to roll your eyes, go ahead. But, you know, it's just good to get it on sound. You know, just talk about the... the the implications and the threat of these these objects that are flying over the United States and what kind of intel they could be gathering on us specifically? Well, they, they could be gathering most likely signals intelligence, collecting on radio signals. And there, in this first balloon that we were made aware of, you know, they were, it was overflying many of our strategic bases. So there was no doubt it was programmed or taking directions to fly over our ICBM base in, say, Montana, and then we saw and then we were flying other of our missile bases as it traversed into Nebraska, and it, it probably was within range 
of collecting on off at Air Force Base at one point, and he went all the way down through South Carolina, and it was clearly collecting signals intelligence, it seems like. It may have also the potential of collecting imagery intelligence. Uh, that I'm not sure. Uh, but it was probably passing this data real time using satellites. I would say this, that China has some of the same capabilities on their satellites. But what makes a balloon different? A balloon could spend hours and hours over a target and bore sight on a target. A satellite cannot do that. So it does provide a different kind of raw intelligence that you can't get from a, a satellite. Yeah, I remember you hearing you say that um, a little more than a week ago. Yeah, that was very interesting. So just to make sure I have it summed up right, you know, with the possible intercepting of radio signals, the implication being these are radio signals that have to do with communications with our ICBM locations and missile and uh, military bases. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, Congressman, thank you again. Uh, unless there was thank something, uh, unless there was something else you wanted to say, none of my questions allowed you to touch on. Hey, I try to be uh, equal opportunity here. I think the president did not do as a good job on the first. Uh, balloon, but I've given him credit for being more proactive on the last three objects that were shot down. I think it sends an important statement to the world that we defend our airspace. Thank you very much.